All new here tonight, recent historical research has identified a Beaumont officer killed in the line of duty in 1902, Officer George Frederick. Frederick was also Beaumont's first black police officer. And tonight, Beaumont police won help finding his descendants and where that fallen officer was buried. As 12 News reporter Simona Barca explains, BPD has a plan to remember his sacrifice. This isn't the kind of mystery that can be solved with a magnifying glass or even a flashlight, but it does help to take a closer look. Terrell Historical Library is home to a Beaumont Enterprise article from 1902 about the shooting that killed Officer Frederick and another woman. On May 3rd, 1902, Officer Frederick was at his home when he heard gunshots nearby. He responded to a fight between two sisters. One of the sisters shot at Frederick, injuring him, and he returned fire. The sister, Ella Dickinson, died the next day, and Officer Frederick died three days later. With it being you know, over 120 years ago, um, it was very different than what it is now. Until recently, his sacrifice was lost to history. But Beaumont PD wants to change that. Making sure that he is um, properly recognized on our memorial here at the Beaumont Police Department, on the state of Texas um, police officer memorial and then of course the national memorial in washington dc so now they're working to find any surviving family members and where he's buried when you're doing descendancy research or reverse genealogy like i call it in order to identify descendants instead of building that tree backward you're now flipping that upside down and you're coming forward genealogy expert cc moore says the best way to put together a family tree like this is through public records like the census or newspaper clippings but finding records from 120 years ago can be tricky. Right now what I've been looking for are city council minutes from even earlier, um, like as early as 1882, um, from when this officer would have been hired. Catherine Leister with the Terrell Historic Library says the article about the shooting is the only newspaper article she's found. She didn't even find Frederick's obituary in the paper. So appealing to the public for some oral family history might be an easier course of action. If, if there are persons of interest like that, potential relatives, those trees could always be built back in time then to see if they are connecting to that family. Beaumont PD is asking anyone with any information about Officer Frederick to contact Sergeant Bobby Anderson or Beaumont PD. We'll have that contact info on our website. In Beaumont, Simona Barca, 12 News.